Welcome to Digital Dental Technology Solution. In this video, I will show you how you can trim with a desktop scan or intraoral toy scan. How you can trim, or you can make it like very nice looking. So just have a look. This is intro. This is a desktop scan. You can see after the scan what we have. So there are two ways for the trimming. One is the selection mode, and <coughs> other one is the cutting plane mode. So you can use both ways to trim the scan, and uh, you can keep the area you want, and other area you can cut. So for using with the cutting. And just uh, draw a straight line, and that's all. So this is the. See, you can also trim the small areas around the model that you don't want to make it look nice. So this is the easy way using the cutting plane method to trim the scan. and the second method is the selection mode so you can select the area you want you can make the selection circle with white or small you can select the area you want to keep that area you can highlight and it will be keep the other area will be discard so you can select the area you want to keep and paint it and if you want to deselect just uh, press control and the left mouse just press the left control and the left mouse to deselect the area you don't want to keep if you have painted it and that's all now you can see after the cutting how it looks like also the lower You can check if you want if you have missed something. So this so this is the two ways you can trim a scan <laughs> with the desktop scanner. Now I will show you how you can trim the scan if you have twice. The twice in the first step. Yes, you have to just draw which area you want to keep. You just need to keep draw a line. Which area you want to keep and which area you want to discard. And that's all. You can see after the trimming, after the trimming, you can see. So, this is the three ways how you can trim scans in the three shape dental system. So, don't forget. to subscribe my channel for the amazing updates that come you soon and have a good day
how you can use 3d face scan in 3shape coming soon so stay tuned